This is Jameson with Cooper Fleet Services. Today is June 18th, 2021, and this is Recent Automotive News. First things first, I have to discuss the bomb that GM dropped on all of its fleet and commercial customers this week. Order banks for 2022 models that were supposed to be open on July 1st have been pushed back to 812. These models include light duty and heavy duty trucks, Colorado, Canyon, Express vans, Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon, and Yukon XL. This date has already been pushed from May 20th to July 1st and now to the middle of August. Although GM is stating that this is the last time these dates will change, I, for one, have no confidence in the automotive industry to be honest with their customers, dealers, employees, or shareholders. Most auto manufacturers seem to be more worried about their stock prices than actually producing vehicles right now. Not only that, many of these 2022 vehicles will be on what is the auto manufacturers call order allocation, which basically means GM will tell you how many you can order and the order banks will not technically be open as they have been in past years. This, in my opinion, will continue to raise the prices for new and used vehicles, and it looks like GM is stating that the 2022 model year production is going to be another disaster. With that being said, we have taken down the section of our website that states the manufacturer's posted schedules. Again, I believe that they could change at any time without warning, and most likely will. Nissan USA has announced that they will be shutting down the plant that builds the Murano, Leaf, and Maxima for an additional four weeks after the two-week scheduled summer shutdown. Nissan is also planning an additional two-week shutdown for the Ultima production after the annual retooling shutdown as well. Nissan seems to be really struggling to maintain output and keep production flowing through this chip shortage. The CEO and CFO of Lordstown Motors, an electric vehicle company out of Warren, Ohio, have resigned after the board of directors did an internal investigation to the claims made by these men that Lordstown had firm orders for 2021 and 2022. It turns out that they had exaggerated the firmness of the orders, most likely to help drive more investing in the company that earlier this year stated that it may not have enough capital to make it through the next six months. A chem tool factory in Rockton, Illinois caught fire earlier this week. The fire raged for many hours as the plant contained many toxic and combustible materials used in the production of rust-resistant coatings. From the videos and pictures, it seems as though the plant was burned almost to the ground. Chemtool hired a private contractor to spray foam to contain the fire, but officials have stated the foam used contained toxic materials that has tainted the groundwater and surface water. These chemicals are described as forever chemicals because they do not break down in the environment or the human body. They have also been linked to health problems like cancer and kidney disease. My thoughts go out to the people living near this factory and I hope everyone is able to get clean water and is not too affected by the toxic smoke. This company does supply rust coatings to a lot of the auto manufacturers, although they're not stating which ones are going to be affected. Ford rolled out a new truck they are calling the Maverick. This is going to be a hybrid truck that is aimed at the price conscious and environmentally responsible audience. The truck will start at under $20,000 and get 40 miles to the gallon. Ford has stated the truck will be able to tow 2,000 pounds and have a 1,500 pound payload. Although the name is another recycled name from previous Ford vehicles, this truck looks to be a lot different than their normal production truck. That's been it for automotive news this week. If you like content like this, please check out our website at cooperfleetservices.com. Please like and subscribe down below. It really helps the channel grow. I really appreciate you all tuning in this week. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. Thanks.